Well, everybody, this is that kind of video where I get to tell you that I made a mistake. Okay, sort of, kind of. I didn't actually make a real mistake, but here's the thing. I have a tendency to overcomplicate very simple things. And that thing for today is getting clean console audio from your Elgato capture card into Wavelink so that you can put it out there to the world when you're streaming or recording your content for something like YouTube, for example. In the past, I have found two different solutions. Number one, you take a 3.5 millimeter cable connected to your gaming monitor or TV, whatever it is, and connect the other end into the blue port, the line in port of your PC's motherboard. And then you do some wizardry in Windows settings to route that line in audio into aux one or aux two in Elgato Wavelink. That of course requires you to buy additional cables and in some instances can also introduce some electrical buzzing and noise that you just don't necessarily want to deal with. My second solution involved using the Beacon Studio, which is a $250 audio interface. And that alone renders this solution financially not feasible because why would someone go out there and spend 250 bucks on top of everything else they've already purchased for their setup just to route one audio source, albeit, much cleaner audio compared to solution number one. So today I was thinking something kind of just smashed itself into my brain and a, an epiphany rained down upon me. I can't confirm if this works for the newer Elgato cards for context, I have an Elgato HD 60 S plus, but I have noticed in doing some other setup things in windows that the Elgato HD 60 S plus comes in as a recording sound source in windows which hypothetically means I should be able to route that audio, have the system listen to it and route it into aux one or aux two in Elgato Wavelink. And it works magnificently, here's how. So again, you have an Elgato capture card. I can only verify that it works for the HD60S Plus. I don't see why it wouldn't work for any of the more modern cards. You have some sort of access to Elgato Wavelink. That means that you either have a Stream Deck Plus an Elgato Wave XLR, an Elgato Wave 3 microphone, or an Elgato Wave 1 microphone. You must have one of these four in order to have access to Wavelink. All those, assuming to be true, you're going to do this. From your Windows main screen, from your desktop screen, you're going to go to the sound icon right here at the bottom right. You're going to right click. We're going to hit sounds. By default, it usually opens up at the sounds tab, which makes sense because we clicked on sounds, but you're going to go to recording and you're gonna find your capture card in here somewhere, all right? So for me, it's at the bottom, Digital Audio Interface, Game Capture HD 60S Plus. You click it, you go to Properties. Once you open up Properties, you need to make sure that you go over to the Listen tab, and in the Listen tab, Listen to this device needs to be checked, all right? Then you're gonna to go to the drop down right here. Now here it says Default Playback Device, but I'm going to make sure that it's being routed over to Elgato Wavelink Aux 2, which should be here, right here. Bam. Wavelink Aux 2 Elgato XLR Dock. Bam. I'm going to hit Apply. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to hit OK. Now, let's see if it works. All right. And boom. As you can see, I've got the um, Wavelinks window here pulled up on top of The Witcher 3. This is running on PS5. Right. And this is coming in clearly cleanly, no audio humming, no buzzing, no electrical feedback, no noise, nothing nice and clean. And because I have it linked to Wavelink and my Stream Deck Plus, I'm able to go ahead and mute the audio like so. I can just turn the volume up if I wanted to, or I could just turn it right back down. Simple, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Simple as that. You don't need additional cables. You don't need to buy an expensive piece of gear just to route one source of audio. This is of course all assuming that you already have some sort of an Elgato setup running where you have access to Elgato Wavelink and you're using an Elgato capture card. Sorry it took me this long. Sometimes I just overcomplicate crap along the way, but eventually I do come to find the simplest solution to most problems. So I hope that was helpful. Please disregard any other videos regarding how to get clean audio using an Elgato setup. This is the simplest way to do it. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. Peace.